see what we have here. The best move for black, so we're black. And let's see. Okay, well, what's the material count? Um, white is up a piece. Okay, we have both knights on the board. White has a bishop, and both rooks are on the board. And we have two queens. So white is up a piece. So I could consider just taking the bishop and equalizing material, but I think there's more in this position. I'm looking at the vulnerability of white's king and these powerful pieces, the queen and the rook, lined up on the h-file. So, as always with these videos, you can pause and you can try to find the solution yourself but I think I see the solution for this puzzle so what we're gonna do is play queen h2 check okay the king is forced to move and we're going to play queen h1 sacrificing the queen okay knight takes forcing move it's the only move the king cannot escape queen is covering the escape square there so again check king f1 queen h1 knight takes and the rook takes the knight with checkmate king cannot escape anywhere and these pawns prevent him from coming forward okay so let's check that out check okay best move keep going and we're going to play queen h1 sacrifice the queen and the rook comes in with checkmate. Okay, and the puzzle solved. Very good. Check. All right, another puzzle of the day on Lee Chess. Here we go. Black to move. Let's see. Okay, I see what it is. We're going to win a piece. I always say look at the undefended pieces in these tactical puzzles. And checks, captures, and threats. So we have queen d4 check, hitting the king, and attacking the bishop at the same time. So queen d4 check, king h1, queen takes bishop. That's what we're doing. Okay, or you could go bishop b3 and we take the bishop. Alright, success. Okay, here looking at the puzzle of the day from Lee Chess. So, white to play. A lot of pieces here. Targeting black's weak king here on g7. And if we move the bishop, we will uncover a check from the rook. So I think that might be key to the solution. So let's see what we got. Hmm. I think it's bishop d8, e8 rather, bishop e8 check. And... So bishop e8, where can the king go? And the king, I think, hmm, has to go here. Yeah. So bishop e8, king f8, rook takes h8. Checkmate. All right. King can't go anywhere. Can't capture this bishop. That's going to be on e8. And he can't slide to f7 because the bishop will be covering that square. Um, I guess black could block the check, but then we just take the bishop when he blocks. Anything else to consider? 
No, I don't think so. Check. Okay, yeah, like I said, black does block on G2, and we take that, check, goes back to F8, and now we have checkmate. Very good, puzzle solved. Okay. Okay, back with the puzzle of the day on Lee Chess. Let's check it out. Okay, black to play. Shouldn't be worried about any of these threats because we have some good pieces here. And I think we're going to use these in combination to checkmate the white king. And uh, I see the combination because I've seen this before. I think this is called Anastasia's checkmate. And so we're going to play knight e2 check, king h1, and then we're going to sacrifice this rook. Rook takes h2, king takes h2, and rook h8 checkmate. And it'll be checkmate because the king here on h2 won't have anywhere to go. Can't come to g3, or and he can't go to g1 because this knight here is very well placed protecting those squares and that'll be checkmate so knight e2 king h1 rook takes h2 king takes h2 rook h8 mate alright let's do it check and checkmate yep alright very good